We begin chapter 30 of Beyond Exile. The title is Astrid. Uh, Frank has just uh, returned from being on the beach doing some surfing, getting his beach combing work done uh, on the surf and so forth. Rehabbed a bad bloody foot. Returned to Kuta Beach where the resorts are. And here, uh, we're in the exclusive resorts at Kuta Beach. Astrid is the name of this chapter, and this is the character that he meets. To the hip international community of travelers at Kuta Beach, Astrid's a joke because she gives herself to every guy leaving the next day. She's Swedish, blonde and ingenious. Nobody knows her game or unrecorded desire. So in his turn, busy with late packing and goodbyes, Frank's intrigued when Astrid shyly enters his hut. He's looking for a punchline, something he once said well when she reaches up through the thatches and brings the Milky Way to bed. Well, Frank is back on the A-train, it would appear, um, doing pretty well again. Um, after this encounter, he can go southwest, which takes us to uh, the city of Denpasar, scene 205, and then um, we can go west to the Australian consulate, but we went there before, we don't want to get involved with this nonsense again. We can go south. Denpasar, which takes us to the airport, and we can look at the travel counter, booking airfare to all the city-states. So, um, as we go to the travel counter, we ask the, uh, the agent asked Frank, uh, where to, sir? Singapore, Melbourne, Hong Kong. Well, we've been to Hong Kong, so it's Melbourne or Singapore. Well, booking airfare to all the city-states, let's go to Singapore. So when we do that, Denpasar, and It flies us to Singapore. To scene number 220. The Singapore Shanji Airport. And another chapter begins called The Truth Rests in Turtles. I'm going to pause it right there, and this will be another short chapter. And thank you for watching this adventure.